All right, well, that didn't go as well as I had hoped. Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, every step, I, like, totally messed up. So, so I finally was like, forget it. You got the first steps. <laughs> the good thing is, is that he did stick with it, though. I did, yes. so. So we have dessert. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Welcome to a home vlog. It has been so long since we've done this, and it's already mid-September. I can't believe how fast this year has been going. And you can see little man trying to sneak in on the shot. Okay, you're, you're gonna notice that I'm looking this way. I'm gonna try and stop that. Um, but I don't think we mentioned this to you guys, but we actually got a new camera a couple months ago. I'm very excited. Um, our last camera was very good. And we get this question all the time, like what vlog, like what vlogging equipment we use. We had been using the Sony Alpha 7S II. And so Steve decided to upgrade and we got the three. And supposedly it's gonna help with like, um, better low light and focusing. Focusing was like our biggest pet peeve with that last camera. Um, but hopefully this fixes that. But also this one has the little flip out monitor so we can kind of see ourselves on it. So I'm gonna try and keep my attention here. But little man is over here finishing up his lunch. Is your sandwich good? Oh, now you wanna be shy? See, this is, this is what we deal with, guys. All right, here's Steve. Yeah, so lazy Sunday indeed. So just kind of taking it easy. Yesterday we were pretty busy. We were out and about, which is yeah. not used to us. So um, we're gonna relax and watch Mike make an amazing something. Have we talked about it yet? No. Okay. So yeah, as Steve mentioned, I am gonna do some cooking today. It's not gonna be like a traditional, what up, like our cooking video that we used to do, but um, Caleb has been wanting to try cheesecake. And as we're getting into the fall, I was thinking, let's do a pumpkin cheesecake. And I have the best recipe for that. So I'm gonna do that today. And then like Steve said, yesterday we did some shopping. We went to Spirit Halloween and I wanna show you some of the stuff we got. But first, let's get started on this cheesecake. So this is the cookbook I'm gonna be using. This is the Junior's uh, Cheesecake Cookbook. This is amazing. If you've never had a Junior's Cheesecake, you're missing out. This is one of our favorite places. But my parents picked up this book for me when they were in New York City. And so I'm gonna be doing this, the Pumpkin Swirl Cheesecake. And then that's what it's gonna look like. I've made this a few times. It is so delicious. Um, so obviously a lot has happened since our trip back in June, which is where we've left off on our channel because it took us so long uh, to get those videos out. Um, but back in August, Caleb and I both celebrated our birthdays and Caleb had a great birthday party. It was actually his very first one where he was actually in school at the time of his birthday. So he got to invite his classmates and we had a blast. I didn't vlog it because our house was just full of a bunch of other kids. But um, we don't have a swimming pool in the backyard, so we decided to rent a water slide, and this thing was massive. It took up the entire backyard. But Caleb had an absolute blast, especially like having all of his friends here. And like I said, that slide was enormous. It was, the kids had so much fun. They were having so much fun, in fact, that Caleb actually didn't even want to do the birthday cake when we like light the candles and sing. We had to kind of like force him to do it. We were running out of time, so we were like, Caleb, we have to do this, it's now or never. Uh, but but it was funny because like a couple days later he was thinking about like his next birthday and he was saying he's like what's a cheesecake and like it was just the most random question so I was like telling him about it I'm like you've had it before bud it's really really good so he said for my seventh birthday I want a cheesecake and I was like okay so of course like my wheels start turning and I was like you know what maybe I could make a pumpkin cheesecake because that sounds fantastic so that's why I'm doing that today so as Mike said, we're trying to get used to this new camera. I didn't even know where the record button was, so I figured it out. But Mike already kind of alluded to this. We've been a little MIA when it comes into home vlogs because we've been kind of busy. Like August went by so crazy fast. We had Mike's birthday, Caleb's birthday, school birthdays. Then uh, Labor Day came around. Then we went to Napa. So this is like the first weekend that we've been able to actually just have nothing. Having said that, we had a party last night, but today is a day that we're definitely relaxing and enjoying a nice casual but elegant dessert that Mike's about to make. Okay, so looking at this recipe, the first thing we're gonna do is we have to make our sponge cake crust. And that's another reason why I like the Junior's Cheesecakes, because it's always a sponge cake crust. Um, usually with a cheesecake, it's like a graham cracker crust. I've seen some where they do an Oreo crust. Sponge cake is where it's at. So I've got my cream cheese out, so that's coming to room temperature. I've got my springform pan, so let's go ahead and generously butter the sides and then we're gonna wrap this in aluminum foil. Okay, so I am just gonna own up to it. I think we both are. We're quite out of practice with home <laughs> vlogging right just now. Just a bit, right? So, <laughs> so I mean, what it's, are you gonna say? Well, I keep on saying that we're gonna have cheesecake and make it happen like right away. It's a long process. <laughs> yeah, it is. I totally forgot about it. Oh, and here's little man. He just got out of the shower. All fresh and clean. Brush your teeth. 
Yeah. Full of energy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a while because I am so out of practice with cooking. First of all, I got my springform pan out and I'm like, what is this? I totally forgot my old springform pan broke and so I had to get a new one. And so I had to figure out how to put this together. Then it said the recipe tells me to butter uh, the springform pan. I forgot to get my butter out so that it would be softened. I'm just a huge mess right now. And I also forgot to preheat my oven. <laughs> so now I was like ready to go. And now we're probably gonna sit here for about 20 minutes. We wait for the butter to soften and the uh, oven to warm up. I can't even talk. And then also Steve realized, he's like, have you had lunch yet? I'm like, no. So here we are. So Steve is ordering us some lunch. Yeah, from a little like Mediterranean pita, uh, pita place. Yeah. So we're gonna keep it a little bit light knowing we're gonna have cheesecake later. A little healthy, <laughs> yeah. So what do you wanna talk about while we wait for the butter to soften, the oven to warm, and our lunch to arrive? I guess we can talk about the Spirit Halloween. So yesterday we did some shopping and Caleb absolutely loves Halloween. In fact, so much so actually that a couple weeks ago we went to Lowe's literally just to look at the Halloween stuff. But yesterday we went shopping and we found a Spirit Halloween store. They open kind of late here in Arizona. At least I find that to be the case where we are. I see all the vlogs that people drop from people in Orlando and it's like, they're out in August. I'm like, how do they get these stores so early? A little later for us, I think. But um, we went to the store and Caleb had an absolute blast and he has no fear, mind you. He will just jump on that little, like the device that makes the thing, the animatronic come to life. I have to stand so far back because I don't know what is gonna happen with these things. Yeah, he just goes right for it. Which one are you gonna do? Don't. No touching, no touching. It's always more terrifying when there's a delay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah, so we were we were looking around. It was actually kind of a smaller uh, Spirit Halloween. We've definitely seen bigger ones around here, but I wanted to show you what we got. So I love Hocus Pocus, and I got this. It says. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. I love it. And it's actually like official, like it's official like Disney licensed Hocus Pocus um, signage. So we got that one. And, um, and as you can see, it's made of like a good, I wanna say it's wood, it's not wood, but you know what I mean? It's like particle board. Is yeah. that what it is? Um, yeah, this is particle board. Okay. Yeah. And then this one's really cool. I'm trying not to scratch my dining table here. But this one says, the Sanderson Witch Museum, Salem, Massachusetts. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. I thought this was really cool. And then this one, this little one, Black Flame Candle, Sanderson Sisters, 300 years is a long wait. I just thought these were really cool. And then Steve found this. This is the Haunted Mansion hanging bat decor. Oh, I guess we should give you the prices. So here, you wanna flip that yeah. over? So this one. That one was $24.99. Now having said that, yesterday, and I don't know for how long, we did buy one, get one 50%. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a yeah. pretty good deal. So yeah, I thought it was pretty fun. So I'm not a huge like signage person in my house normally, but I figure for Halloween, you gotta do it. So this one was $19.99. Oh, yeah. Okay. This and one was $24.99. This one is $26.99. And that small one I imagine. This one is $12.99. There you go. So yeah. All right, so getting back to our cheesecake, I'm gonna go ahead and butter my springform pan. I think one of the biggest things that deters people or kind of intimidates people from wanting to make a cheesecake is the fact that the cheesecake has to bake in a water bath. And if you don't know, so I'm gonna, I'm, this is what I use. This is just like a, um, I think it's Wilton. I got it at like Michael's or Joanne uh, for like, I don't know, 10 bucks or something. But as you can see, I've been using it for a really long time because it's kind of lost its luster. Um, but yeah, it's basically just a cake pan. And what you do is when everything is done, like our cheesecake and the sponge cake crust, it's all finished. You'll actually place it in this and then you'll fill this big piece with hot water and then put it in your oven like that. But go to like Costco or something like that and get this giant roll of Reynolds wrap and you gotta get the heavy duty stuff. Um, I've tried like the Reynolds wrap, like the, the regular stuff that I get at the grocery store or at Target and it always breaks on me. Trust me, get the heavy duty.
Okay, so it is the next morning. You guys, filming me making that cheesecake yesterday went so bad. Like, I am so out of sync with like trying to vlog this kind of stuff. Steve was cracking up. I messed up every single step and it was just like, oh my gosh. Like the second I would sift something in the bowl, I was like, oh, wait a minute. I wasn't supposed to do that quite yet. I was getting so frustrated. And so finally I was like, Forget it. I will we'll just make this just a vlog where, hey, I made a cheesecake. I'll post the recipe down below. Um, I did have a slice last night. It wasn't ready. That was the other thing. It wasn't ready in time for Caleb to enjoy it because it was just, it took so long and I was messing up so much. Um, but I got a slice late at night. It was delicious. So I will show it to you in a little bit. Uh, but right now I'm having to hustle because we are actually having an electrician come out today and we're going to install under cabinet lighting, something I've wanted to do since we upgraded this kitchen or rather kind of facelifted it. Um, it was just one of those things we drug our feet on, but today is the day. Okay. Scratch that. Steve, let me know that the electrician is not coming today. That's right. <laughs> so they forgot to check their schedule. So I texted again this morning. Tomorrow will be the day. Okay. So yes, but we're going to get really beautiful under cabinet lighting. We're going to try at least. Hopefully yeah. they can do it, but we don't know for sure. But they're coming so here's hoping little man is back from school and he's gonna have some cheesecake does it smell good mm -hmm. awesome right he's going in for it oh <laughs> good you like it awesome but as you can see, the cheesecake turned out awesome. And this thing is really great. It came off pretty nicely. And so just zoom in there so you can kind of see. Um, so yeah, with this recipe, it's actually supposed to be a pumpkin swirl, but I feel like that's just an extra step that just makes it more complicated. I just mix all the pumpkin in with it. I think it tastes better. It's so good. Okay, it is absolutely delicious. It's a great cheesecake. I just, it's September. I don't know why we're doing pumpkin yet. <laughs> Well, they have pumpkin spice lattes at Starbucks. I so. know, and I, I, I'm not about that. But, okay. But anyhow, it tastes really good to get ready for fall. So maybe start practicing now to get ready for that yeah. pumpkin time. So. Well, and I was I just said this off camera, but I might make this for Thanksgiving this year. Yeah, it's delicious. It's pumpkin, and I don't start pumpkin until earliest October. So oh, well, there we go. Okay, so I am gonna get dinner started now. Um, if you didn't know, today is National Cheeseburger Day. So I, I love embracing days like that. Um, but the funny thing is though, is I actually just made cheeseburgers here uh, like two weeks ago. But I do have like kind of like a go-to cheeseburger recipe that I use. So I figure since we just had it, tonight I'll do something a little different. So this recipe comes from Martha Stewart, no surprise there, dinner at home and it is pancetta cheeseburgers. I thought they looked good, but one of the things I love about this cookbook is that it's kind of like, it's based on menus. So with this, they have pancetta cheeseburgers, balsamic mushrooms, tomato basil, white bean salad, and coconut topped cupcakes. So I, I already went ahead and made the tomato, basil, and white bean salad. And so now I'm gonna make these balsamic mushrooms. So another proof point that, you know, it's still September, it's not winter yet. Just found another scorpion in our house. I want to show you. That little teeny tiny little brown spot. Yep, that's a little baby scorpion. So we'll have to take care of that. All right, so over here, I've got my tomato salad here. And what's interesting is that this is basically supposed to mimic the flavors of a caprese salad. So as you can see, it's some diced up or rather some sliced up um, tomatoes. We've got some basil in there. I've got some garlic and olive oil. And instead of the mozzarella though, we're using cannellini beans. It doesn't look that appetizing because the cannellini beans came out of a can, so it's kind of mushy, but it tastes really good. And I have to say, it does taste similar. It reminds me at least of a caprese salad. And then over here, we've got my mushrooms. And this is basically a like a balsamic glaze on these mushrooms. So really good, very flavorful. I think these are gonna make really nice accompaniments to our cheeseburgers. And lastly, over here, I've got my patties ready to go. We've got, I'm gonna do half pound burgers just because I had a lot of meat. And what's interesting about this is usually I flavor these with, um, or rather season these with onion powder and garlic powder. Again, I wanted to do something different. So this is chili powder and paprika. And then the cheese, because there are cheeseburgers, um, it's actually sliced fontina, which I thought was interesting. Again, I usually use like cheddar or American cheese, but I think the fontina is gonna be really, really good like just cut through the spice of the paprika and the chili powder. So I'm really excited about this. All right, dinner is ready. So we've got the burgers topped with fontina. 
We got the bacon because I could not find pancetta. And then we've got, you already saw this, my mushrooms and the bean salad. I'm toasting the buns. Looks great. What do you think? I think it looks very good. So okay. it's a good family dinner. <laughs> yeah. You're, the, you're my worst critic though, so. I know, I know. All right, so I did make these a little bit bigger than usual. Yes. So oh, okay. dad is cutting up Caleb's. It's a little big, huh, bud? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can see it's cooked well. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah, actually, like let me zoom in. Oh, yeah, that looks great. What? Dad, And watch then this. Steve has built his. I did not. Oh. I did not do mushrooms on top of it because that's supposed to be like a side thing, right? Yes, everything okay. is for the side. Okay. The only thing that's supposed to be on it is the bur uh, the cheese <clears throat> and the bacon. bacon. So well right. let's eat National Cheeseburger Day. Okay. Here okay. We go. Count one. Ready? One. No, you have two. to close your eyes. So one, ready? two, three, four, five, no, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Oh wow, we're going okay. <laughs> Twelve. Mmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What do you nine, think, bud? Yummy. Eleven. Do you like it? Mm hmm. Oh, mushroom. Really? I hate mushroom. Oh, whatever. You do not. You are such I'm a good. I'm pretending goon. to be Mario. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So, what do you think? I think it's delicious. Yeah? Yeah. How does it compare to your burgers when you grew up? I think it's very, oh, growing up? Yeah. Oh, very different. <laughs> we did not have burgers like this growing no. up in my household. No. But, <laughs> tastes really good. So, yeah. I mean, your burgers are really good. What would mm -hmm. you do differently with the actual Okay, beef? so, yes, these are different from what we usually have. Usually I make uh, the ground beef with onion powder and okay. garlic powder. Poor meat. And I think that's it. I think it's just a little bit of salt and pepper. And then this one has chili powder and paprika. So it's got a little bit of a spice, but not, it's not like a spicy, spice? yeah. but the fontina on top of that with the bacon, very, very good. Huh, bud? So the salad, everything else goes well with it? I think so, yeah. Would you prefer to have French fries? Yes, for sure. Okay. <laughs> but I wanted to do something different. Of course. I was I already, I, you weren't here, but I already told them. We actually just had burgers yeah. not too long ago. So that's why I was like, I'm gonna do a different type of burger tonight. That's good to change it up. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Dinner is done, so now we're gonna go Mail. Go get the mail. All right. You're getting a little big for that. Uh, don't you want to play uh, pass mode? Uh oh. Excuse the mess. We have both trash this week. Man, he is. <laughs> He's like Cruella de Vil. <laughs> so if you didn't know, this is the routine. We come get the mail. You left Caleb puts it in his car and we drive it back home. <laughs> okay, so we have cleaned up the kitchen a little bit. I did have to mop the floor because when I was making the burgers, the grease just splattered absolutely everywhere. Um, but Steve is upstairs right now reading a book to Caleb and I am brewing some French press coffee. So something new that Steve and I have been doing is making coffee at night. And I don't know if it's because, you know, I turned 43 last month and it's like, I just feel like when I turned 40, there was no big issue. But when I turned 41, it was like everything changed. It was like, I'm so tired at night. And I don't know, it's just like, I feel like my back hurts more, my knees hurt. Like getting old is just no fun at all. But yeah, it's only uh, 7.35 and it's like, we have to have our nighttime coffee now. We have our dinner early, we go for a walk after, and then we have some coffee. Like, who are we, who have we become? With our coffee, we're gonna have a slice of the pumpkin cheesecake. We know it already tastes good due to Caleb's, you know, yeah. rave review. So <laughs> we're just gonna dive in here. But... I'm gonna go ahead and add some whipped cream to it though. Oh, that looks great. Let Steve take the first bite. <laughs> this is so good. It is. Even though it's pumpkin, in September, <laughs> I'm a fan. It's really, really good. Yeah. You've outdone yourself every time when you do this. It's that sponge cake crust that really does it for me. It's so delicious. I prefer sponge cake crust over graham cracker crust, Oreo crust, all that kind of stuff. This is so delicious. Like, I think I already said this. I think I'm gonna make this in lieu of pumpkin pie this yeah. year for Thanksgiving. Cause I think, mm, this is so good. Right. All right, and I think with that, we're gonna end it here. Yeah, this was like a conscious 
stream of thought, right? Like, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. basically <laughs> Dana Life with us. So yeah, because I was telling Steve, I was like, this vlog was so to was totally supposed to be just like <laughs> make pumpkin cheesecake with me, and yeah. then that went and belly then up. Life happens, so you know it's good though. This so is what like, it's like every day. Yeah, just hang out with us for the night, yeah. National Cheeseburger Day. <laughs> Well, we hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy. enjoy.